What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I am going to tell you about the Bastion Kudo loadout. You need to use these perks to make sure that you can do the one-shot Kuda, and you also need Daredevil, and you need Darkstalker. But you can do so much with this loadout, mostly because the Bastion is so good at burst shotting. So you can make sure if you do end up not getting the one-shot kill, you can go ahead and get that kill. Making it to where you can go ahead and get your Daredevil activated to make the one-shot happen for the Kuda. The Bastion also on its own can kill, and you also have that underbarrel grenade which does so much. Right there, I am not hitting headshots at all because I'm kind of terrible, but it doesn't even matter because we're going out and getting those kills. We do get the four at once there, and I will show some full games, but first, I'm going to show you some other stuff. After this, I'm going to show you me shooting over buildings and hitting snipers and campers. It's kind of fun. That's what I was kind of doing there, but it was more of a hill thing. Either way, we do come out and we do end up getting the triple and luckily for us, we just in time get that four at once and we just keep on going. We are going to be able to just do so much because of the burst damage of the Bastion really, really does damage because it shoots like three at a time. It's really nice and the underbarrel grenade can save you in a fight where you have no health. You can just go out there and actually get some kills. So we are going to go ahead and do full games and it is just so good the whole time because anyone can get a good clip but to play a whole game and it work out the whole time is a very different thing. So we're going to go out and make sure that we reload because it does burst shot it can run out of ammo luckily it does have a lot of ammo so it does take a lot to run out but it's always good to reload just in case. That way, you don't ever have to worry about running out during a fight. Right here, we are going to just go ahead and wait for him to come. <laughs> we start to run out of battery, but it is what it is. We see him up here. We want to hit him with an underbarrel grenade to do as much damage as possible. And we are lucky enough to be able to kill his friend and come out. We're going to try to just go ahead and kill anyone that we can over here. And this guy is trying to go up on that thing. Uh, if you do that with a ball and you die up there, the ball stay up there. So if you're ever in the lead, you can do that as a glitch. And uh, they're never going to fix it. So go ahead and try it if you want. But we are going to go ahead and kill the undying guy. Luckily, our teammate helps at least. I am always happy to have that team help. You know it. But we are going to wait for them to come. And we use this head glitch to be able to be safe. We hit him. But we don't kill him, so we're going to have to get him with our Bastion. Thank God for our underbarrel grenade. Because he was out of range of us, we were able to kill him and get that unstoppable. And then we go for the undying guy. We do end up missing and getting killed by his friend with a crossbow. It does happen. We do have the brawler, so we can go faster. But we need to make sure we switch back to our uh, underbarrel grenade. And we come out strong. We don't know exactly where they're going to be. But if they don't come this way... We do know that they are going to be somewhere else. Luckily, we do find him. He is in that little spot right there. And we are going to die, but that underbarrel grenade saves us. I'm telling you, when you are low in a fight and they aren't, that underbarrel grenade can save you. And on this map in particular, having that brawler speed is so good, it's insane. And again, that underbarrel grenade saving us, getting the double. The undying guy finally gets med shots, so we do crazy damage. And then we are able to get the four at once, and then, of course, the five at once. And, of course, we're going to try to stay here and protect our brawl carrier. Sadly, I was just not in the right place at the right time. Luckily, our underbarrel grenade does get that guy low enough to help our team. And we are able to confuse them enough to be able to come after us instead of our ball carrier, which is very helpful. And I'm telling you, this Bastion does stress so much. And then, of course, it does help if you're as good as me with the Kuda. I know most people aren't. And this isn't just a gun that you're going to get five at once as with. But you will get more than Arbitrator for the multi-kills just because I'm shooting all body shots as most people do with Bastion. It is kind of hard to shoot headshots, but if you can get the headshots, you can do so much with it. Right there, I just wanted to do whatever I could to the ball carrier so my teammates would have him low. I didn't expect to be able to do much, and I had no idea that guy was behind me. I thought that was my teammate I ran next to, so that was a whoopsie. 
but it does happen. And this game is going to be kind of close if we don't go out and make sure we kill that ball carrier. So we got to do what we got to do. I missed that uh, under barrel grenade pretty hard there, but it's okay. We run in there to try to help. Our teammate gets him. Luckily for us, we do have the ball here, and I'm just going to try to get anyone that comes after him. We are able to keep that uh, spinny wheel pretty good, and luckily for us, the under barrel grenade is very good. So we're going to go ahead and aim at that guy, but then we realize that the ball carrier is down there. We go ahead, get the ball, and we use throwing knives to kill everybody. <laughs> because when in doubt, use throwing knives. That was a 503 point game with 24 kills, an unstoppable, 5 at once, and some triple kills. This gun is great, and most people are going to be able to get your double kills and triple kills with it, so don't worry if you're not getting five at onces. I am very good with the Barracuda, so it's a lot easier for me, but this gun is very good at getting those kills, and if you can get good with the Underbarrel Grenade of Bastion, you can really do a lot. It used to have this limitation where if you got up close to people, then you could not kill them, but they took that away because they're stupid and now bastion is good at all ranges so it really does help a lot that you can shoot it at all ranges and it's made it very very good same with arbitrator wasp is good in its own way but i don't like it over these guns especially for being able to get good kills wasp is able to get kills but they don't get points this combo gets a ton of points and that's what really matters not necessarily stealing everyone's kills and getting no points. I'll explain that in my Wasp video that comes up next. Why Wasp is not really the best, but uh, it can be if you're not very good. Uh, I'll explain all that in that video. But either way, we are going to be checking every corner and we should be reloading right now. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, why am I not reloading? But you need to make sure that you keep that gun full because if you have to kill two people with your Bastion, you want full. And luckily, we are able to get that headshot, and we are low, so we got to be very careful. We get him and his friend, and then we need to go for more. We get the triple kill right there, and we want that unstoppable, but our teammate killed that guy. It's okay, though. And then that guy has undying. We want to be able to kill him. I tried to hit him with the underbarrel grenade, but I'm just going to wait for him. We do end up using our burst shot to kill him, and that is the best part about Bastion. It bursts shot damage, so you can just do so much with it. And if anyone's ever in a corner and you're in doubt, use that underbarrel grenade. And I am going to also have a video, and here's a sneak peek of it. I go and kill campers by shooting my underbarrel grenade straight up in the air over buildings and hit people camping behind the tires with the underbarrel grenade. <laughs> and I did this like a hundred times on different maps. Sometimes like I would die or he would die, but still the underbarrel grenade would have hit him. So I put it in. And sometimes instead of it being campers, it is hill people, but I shoot it straight up with an angle that it arcs down and then it hits the people in the hill. It is pretty nice. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do in this game. And it's just so much fun when you know that you're going to actually like, shoot across the map and underbarrel grenade and it hits them. And you know they're mad. Like, how did that happen? And um, so, yeah, so I really enjoy doing that. And I'm going to make a small video on it. And uh, my next video is going to be Wasp, though. So thank you to my supporters, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Have a great day.